All right. Um, so here's just kind of the extra, you know, kind of bonus video for section 7.1 part two. Um, where uh, I'm going to talk about some Sokotoa problems that are a bit, j just a bit more complicated than the ones we did. They're actually not that difficult when you when you look at them. Really, all they are is just um, kind of doing Sokotoa more than once. But they are the type of problem that you might see in real life when you are like for for a person who's doing like surveying or you know an engineer or um you know somebody who is in charge of construction or something like that um when they need to measure distances that they don't necessarily that they can't necessarily measure you know using like a tape measure or something like that right um, so here's an example where we kind of have this weird triangle um, inside of a triangle right here, and we want to find this length right here between D and C. That's where our X is at. We want to find that length from there, there to there. Well, how can we do that? Well, what we can do is we can use our two separate little triangles here. I can use the inside triangle here. All right, to figure out what this side is right here. And let's maybe call that A, All right? And then we can use the whole triangle, All right? This whole thing to find this whole length across that side right there. And maybe we'll call that B. And then how would we find X? How would we find this distance right here? Well, we would basically just take B, that whole distance across the bottom, minus A, and that'd give us that little bit right there, right? Now, this one, we actually technically don't even need to use Sokotoa because um, you'll see we can actually just use Pythagorean Theorem. Now, I'll use Sokotoa on one of them just to kind of show you how that'll work. Um, but um, technically, actually, on this one, all we need is Pythagorean Theorem. So let's just kind of take a look and see how we do this. So first we can take our small triangle and we can say, well, okay, we know two side lengths here. We know that this side is 10 and this side is 14. So maybe let's just use the Pythagorean theorem to find this third side, this A right here, right? Well, Pythagorean theorem, we've got A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? And so Let's see, we'll just leave the A as A, so that'll be A squared. The B, we'll make that 10 squared, and then our C squared would be 14 squared. And then we just need to solve that for A, so I'll figure out what those are as squares. Subtract the 100, that'll be 100, from both sides, and then take the square root. And let's see, 14 squared minus 10 squared, take the square root. And we get 9.798. I'll go to three decimal places here. All right, and that's how long that side is down there. Well, now we can do the, the same exact thing, except we'll just do it with the big triangle. And actually, I said I was going to use Sokotoa on this one. We'll use it on the next example, but... Um, you, you totally could use Sokotoa to find like the angle down here maybe and then use that angle to find the total distance uh, across the bottom here. Um, but really the easier way here is just Pythagorean Theorem, so we'll just do that. Okay. And so now let's try and find this long distance across the bottom. Okay. And we're going to use the big triangle for that. Well, we know two of the side lengths for it. Again, this side over here is 10, but this time our hypotenuse is 16. And so, again, we can just use Pythagorean Theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, this time, let's make our a the 10. Let's make our b the b down here. And then our c, of course, is always the hypotenuse, so that'll be 16. And then you just go through and solve that for b, right? And what would we get? Well, 16 squared minus 10 squared. Take the square root of that. And we get that that whole thing is 12.490. And so now I know everything I need to know on this one, 
right? I know the length of this little bit right down here. Actually, I'll do that in blue because that's how I did it already. That little bit we know is 9.798. I know the distance of this whole thing. Well, we know that's 12.490. Well, to get this little bit, where the x is, we just take the big one minus the small one. So 12.490 minus 9.798, and that gives us 2.692. And that'd be our answer. And so you can see, just using kind of our diagram the way it is, um, we, we just could you know, use kind of the properties we already know. In this case, it's Pythagorean theorem to find uh, to find the side lengths in these two separate triangles, and then subtract them to get the third one right there. Now, um, you know, in the challenge problems, there are, there are some where you can use Pythagorean theorem, and there are some where you can't. You'd have to use Sokotoa, but the you know the the principle still stands. The idea behind that you know we have two different triangles in here well let's find the side lengths in those triangles i found the side length for the small triangle here and i found the side length for the big triangle and that'll help me find this little bit right here and whether we use pythagorean theorem like we did on these two or we use uh uh Sokotoa, the principle still stands focus on each triangle separately to find side links in there and then just use those side links to find whatever you want to find. All right. Now I'm going to look at one more here. That's a little bit different. Um, um, but that's going to be kind of the principle behind these ones is that you have more than one triangle that you actually have to find information on. So this one says a person in an apartment building cites the top and bottom of an office building 500 feet away. So we have somebody in an apartment building and presum presumably, we don't know where that person is, right? They are somewhere in the apartment building, but they could be on the bottom floor, they could be on the top floor, we don't know. And they are spotting a office building, okay? And that office building, we know, let's see, that's 500 feet away. All right, just to kind of look at the picture of this. Then it says the angle of elevation for the top of the office building is 23 degrees. So that means this person who's sitting right here, when he looks up at the top, that angle of elevation is 23 degrees. Well, remember, an angle of elevation is between a horizontal line and the line up to the top. So that'd be like right there. Okay, so we know that one's 23 degrees. And then it says, okay, well, the angle of depression to the base of the building is 50 degrees. So angle of depression is between the horizontal and then looking down towards the bottom. That's going to be 50 degrees. Now, what do we want to know? We want to know how tall is the office building. And so basically we want to know this total distance on the side here. That's like what our X is. Well, what can we do on this one? Well, no, notice on this one, we also have two separate right triangles, right? We have a right triangle there and a right triangle there. And so we can, again, treat these as separate triangles, figure out their side lengths, and we'll be figuring out the side length right over here, right? And then this one, will add them together to get the total distance, all right? Um, now, what do we know in these triangles? Well, we know the angles of elevation and depression, and we also know that this side right here is going to be 500 feet, because we know the distance between the apartment building and the office building are, are 500 feet apart. All right? So again, we just kind of go through and we treat each triangle separately. So first we'll do the top triangle. Okay? Let's see here. On this one, here's our angle that we're using which would mean over here is our opposite, and then our adjacent would be down here at the 500. Well, let's see, opposite and adjacent, we're going to use tangent, and so we'd set it up. Um, tangent of our 23 degrees. Well, that's just the opposite side over here. Maybe let's call that A. 
over our adjacent side is 500. And then we just multiply by 500 to get A along. So 500 times tangent of 23. That's going to be 212.2. And so now we know this side right here, which we called A, that's 212.2. Then we can use the other triangle. Okay, we can look at the other triangle. And we can say, well, what do we know about that one? Well, again, here's our angle, so opposite would be across from there. Adjacent would be right next to it, so we can find that opposite side using tangent, right? Opposite and adjacent, we're going to use tangent. So we do tangent of 50 equals the opposite side. Well, maybe this time we'll call that B, right? So that will be the opposite B over the adjacent is 500. And then again, we can just multiply both sides by 500 to get B alone, and we get 500 times tangent of 50. Well, that is 595.9. All right. So now we know how long, how uh, large that is right there. Well, how do we get the total height? We just add these together. So 212.2 plus 595.9, that is 808.1 feet. And now we know how tall that office building is. All right, so that's how you can approach problems like this. You know, you have two separate right triangles, treat them separately, right? Look at them as separate right triangles and find the side lengths you needed. On this one, we needed you know, the the height of the office building, so we know it needs these sides over here, okay? On the previous one, we needed this distance over here on X, so we need the side lengths on the bottom. And so whatever method you, you can use to find those, use them, right? Whether it's Pythagorean theorem or it's uh, using Sokotoa. All right, so that's kind of like the extra video here, uh, just to kind of talk about, you know, these extra problems and how you might approach them. Uh, if you have any questions on these, let me know. Um, you know, being able to do these are actually really helpful. Like sometimes you'll see problems like this on an ACT or an MCA. Um, and, you know, if you're interested in going into science or in engineering or stuff like that, um, being able to do this kind of, um, this kind of uh, trigonometry where you, where you kind of divide it up into separate right triangles, it's really useful. It's really helpful. All right. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, good luck trying out these problems.